If you're asked to find equivalent fractions for four eighths, here's how you do it. Basically, what we're trying to do is find another fraction that has the same value, but a different numerator and denominator. So we could multiply four eighths by one, it would still be four eighths. But instead of one, let's multiply by two over two. That way, two divided by two, it's still one, we're not changing the value. But two times four, that's eight. Two times eight is 16. And now we have an equivalent fraction for four eighths. If you divide four by eight or eight by 16, it equals 0 0.5. Both of them are the same, they're equivalent. Let's do another one. How about three over three? Again, three divided by three is one. We're not changing the value. Three times four is 12 here. Three times eight is 24. We get another equivalent fraction for four eighths and it's equal to 0 0.5. If you divide 12 by 24, 0 0.5. One last one, how about seven over seven? So 2856, that is equivalent to four eighths. They have the same value, though they do have different numerators and denominators. This is Dr. B with equivalent fractions for four eighths. Thanks for watching.